It's encouraging, it's inspiring. I'm an artist myself, so I love to see when people get inspired by someone else's work and, and vice versa. Uh, and then all I want to do is go home and paint and see what I come up with. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just awesome working with artists. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm the owner of Handworks Gallery in St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, this gallery represents over a hundred maritime artists, as well as a few a little bit further beyond. Um, it's been around for 30 years, uh, celebrated this year. I myself have owned it for four as of August 1st. Uh, my absolute favorite thing about being uptown uh, is the community. I've lived in London, England. I've lived in PEI and Alberta. Um, and I always consistently wanted to come back here. So there's something to be said about Uptown St. John, um, just how it feels, the safety, the friendliness, uh, and of course the wicked revitalization that's been going on for the last few years. I'm so excited to be a part of that. Um, just seeing everyone grow and develop and doing it myself. Uh, I have been humbled to work with many of these artists. These are people who I've grown up admiring. I've always been involved in the arts and then suddenly I get to work with these people and not just drooling in awe of their work. It's, it's incredibly humbling um, and of course I have a jewelry addiction so that's pretty terrible for me. Um, my husband said that when I bought the gallery he was relieved he'd never have to buy me another piece of jewelry because he knew I was just gonna get something for myself if I liked it. We're constantly adding new artists. We're constantly encouraging artists to develop and grow and explore and ask questions and, and mess around with their inventory and mess around with their media and just see what comes of it. Uh, sometimes you see really interesting partnerships happen. Uh, sometimes you get to help them write grants that send them across the globe to do something, to explore something deeper into their work. Uh, so here we have Natasha Miller. Uh, she is one of our most popular artists that we have in the gallery. What's fascinating about her work is that it started with charcoal um, from a pizza firing business that she and her partner had. And it blossomed into this incredibly unique technique that she's developed herself to create this incredible depth in her pieces. Uh, and she's just universally well received. Uh, we rarely have people who come in who aren't immediately captivated by the depth and the color and lack thereof in some cases. So she's just brilliant. Um, so Peter Thomas here, uh, formerly part of the ceramics department at the Craft College in Fredericton, uh, recently retired to go back to immersing himself in making pottery. And you can see all the different glazes that he's experimented with here, narrowing down what's gonna be his focus his signature, uh, and he's worked with me to kind of discuss what people like, uh, what he enjoys, and what translates best on his forms. So it's really exciting to see people after retirement take that next step in their world of creativity. So this is one of our jewelers, this is Anne Fillmore. Uh, she went back to school to do jewelry making at the College in Fredericton and she does these amazing hand-built forms where she captures a lot of organic material such as flowers and seed pods uh, and she has an absolute affinity for turquoise of course. So her work has demonstrated a really beautiful evolution over the few years that we've been able to work with her and I'm thrilled to showcase her work. This is actually um, a vessel that can either hold um, ashes or sand or perfume uh, that she's made and it's inspired by a seed pod. One personal story that uh, has played a big role in how I feel uh, about the gallery is uh, in the beginning of 2020 when everything was shut down. Uh, we were shut down of course but I was still coming into the gallery just for security reasons. Um, my birthday was also coming up and I had asked if anyone was going to do anything you know, get a gift card to a restaurant, a small business, support them. That's all I asked. And of course, on my birthday, I woke, woke up and found an online sale from our, our store and it was the best feeling. Of course, not a gift for me, but it was a gift for someone else. Uh, and, and order after order after order kept coming in over the next little bit while everyone was in shutdown. Uh, and it was mug after mug after mug uh, and a bit of jewelry and it was, People ordering them online, uh, not for themselves, but to be delivered locally to 
their friends, their family, their loved ones. Um, and it was so incredibly touching that people weren't buying things for themselves. They were going out of their way to support small businesses by gifting things to their loved ones to offer a little bit of comfort during that time. And it was incredibly humbling and just made me feel better than anything else could have in that situation.